Right, so in this episode we are looking at the transmission tunnel, so we'll finish off the driver's floor pan, the couple of bits that need doing, move on to the transmission tunnel, and um, most of the work for that is on the driver's side, but there's a few spot welds, um, or plug, a few holes I need to fill in on the other side, let's face it, and so I fill those in as well, um, and then we will move off to other stuff in the next episode. Um, I had anticipated it would take me a week to do the transmission tunnel and it's taken me a week to do the transmission tunnel um, and I was off for a couple of days during that as well so um, so five weeks have passed since I said I was hoping to, you know the timelines I put out um, and I've done three weeks of that work um, now having said that uh, I was out for two weeks as well so you know we're sort of oh, there or thereabouts um, but I'm beginning to realize that I miss things off and so there'd be a lot to capture in my odds and sods which was at the end um, but we are progressing and you know I'm still we've got to be careful that I don't try to rush things to, to hit a target and don't do a job that even I'm satisfied with let alone um, someone else being satisfied with so um, yeah we're working and it's coming So I've started today by finishing, getting that in place. I'll give it a bit more of a grind down, but um, not too much. Um, I'll say this as well. Welding is much easier when you clean off the nib and the shroud and replace it with brand new ones. And um, suddenly it starts working again. Um, I've also welded completely underneath. And um, so um, you know, it's been welded on both sides. I need to give it a bit of grind underneath still more than here, but um, Because I've got a few um, bits of wire sticking through from when it didn't stick initially So that's in place. I think the next thing to do will be to put this bit back in now Good well that's back in place now, so um, At that point I can consider the floor finally done and so now um, we're going to start on the transmission. We're going to start with this piece here. And I think what we're going to, A, I'm going to have a look underneath at what it looks like. I'm going to think we're going to clean this off and probably aim to do a piece all the way along. And just have to make sure we get this back in exactly the right place. But we'll clean this off first and then have a look. Right, so I've cleaned this off a bit, and uh, yeah, so this bit, I more or less had it right, but it actually, just here, it bends down and then goes out, and this bit, which was also rusted, goes down and then has a flange on, it goes out. So, I need to do both. I can't weld, I can't, until I take the suspension out and the wheel, rear axle, I can't get in to do this from the other side. But I don't see why, um, so that would mean I won't be able to do my plug welds. Oh, I might be able to actually. What I won't be able to do is weld the back of this. So, I think what we're gonna do is start with a piece along here with a flange on it and try to get that more or less into place and then we'll come back to this much more complicated bit with this um, this lip here and it's I mean just here you see it comes out so this is going to be difficult around here so from this bit on it's okay but this bit here is quite difficult um, and I don't know if really I should take all of this seam seal out and see what it looks like in there. But I guess I'll get to it at some point. Um, yeah. And I don't know if this is holding on. Uh, the back side, but that's a bit rusty around here as well. So we might end up taking that out at some point. 
Who knows? Okay, so we're gonna start with this bit. So I've got a part here, which I, um, just a straight piece of metal, put a bend in it. I've then done a cut along here and slowly curved that around. And that in theory fits in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this off here. Yeah, I'm gonna trim this off here. I'm not gonna weld it together though. I'm gonna I'll weld it when it's fitted in place. When I go know I've got the curve right because I can always fill it in with a bit of weld. So I'm going to trim this off. I'm then going to get underneath the car and clamp it in place on what I've got there. And then I'm going to see at that point if I can um, cut it straight through here. And if I can do that, I should then be able to um, take the, the rusty metal out, fit this in place and weld it. So that's how I'm going to try to do it. Right, right so I um, can't remember how I said I was going to try cutting it out, but I um, ended up having to go... How did I do it? I, I cut along here. Oh, I can't remember how I did it now, but I had real problems just trying to get as much out as I did. And I've made a bit of a mess just here. But this piece... Should should go in here. Like that. Okay, so that goes in like that. Problem I've got is I've got no way of cutting this little edge here. Um None of my tools will get to it. So if I want to do a cut and butt, I'm going to struggle there. Um, I could do some cut and butt here. Maybe what I need to do is just trim it off on that side to the right height and, or something, I don't know. Um, but I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to now weld this into place. So that is the next problem. Okay, so what did we do? We trimmed the piece down. Um, that just left us with a bit of a problem here and here. I managed to get the last bit of that out using this, but I've made it too big here as you can see. So I'll have to deal with this, but for now I'm going to get this welded into place and then see. So um, you can see that that's done now. We've got a bit of a hole here still, um, and a bit of one here. But and there were a couple of pin holes in there. But I'm going to pick that up when I've taken the axle out. Now I've also managed to cut through here. It looks like I've gone all the way through. Um, so we'll pick that one up first. But we'll pick that up when we the back side of this when we do the underside and um, when I've got the axle out so I can get at it more easily. Um, so we're going to stop for today but the next thing will be to take this piece out. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll do a piece that comes along here and then along here and down and over. Um, and that way I just need to do this little bit of a, um, a join there and to be honest if I don't if it's flat and goes straight in then then that's also fine for me and looks like the other one is a bit high so um, keeping it flat might be perfect solution so that's for tomorrow today is th Thursday the 3rd of Feb, I think, yeah, 3rd today, and we're going to aim to do this bit. Now, um, 
mostly I work with 20 gauge metal although I'm going to be switching to 18 once I've used up what I have but when I um, have bought metal um, they always have a bin there and I tend to pull out scrap pieces that they don't want and this is 16 gauge and so I thought I would um, try that piece um, with 16 gauge and see how we get on so it's a bit thick but we'll see how it goes so this is the piece I've made just bending that little lip in there so this um, just swap it out here. this goes in here like that and then goes flat so I'm a little bit worried about it in here because just here you can see these holes and it looks like the metal's a bit thin here but I'll just have to build that up I think okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clico this down so that I've got it firmly in place all right um, and that way I know I'm putting it back into the same place each time then I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to take a drill through here um, and so I get the hole and I'm going to make that hole there um, to fit over this um, so then what we'll do is we'll scribe along here and we'll cut this edge to start with and then we're going to um, cut and butt the rest of it yeah I think that's my plan okay so I've got a very slight problem here in that my plan was to stick a bolt through here and hold it in place so that I have the strengthener piece underneath there firmly locked in it's not a 7 8 7 16 it's not a half inch it's something other and I've had a look on in the catalogue and it's um, it's a very special well it's a hex it's a hex nut or bolt um, hex bolt and so I got my chairs down to see if these had them and it's it's like this it's one of these but it's bigger than this and I've gone through all the little bits that came with the car um, and I'm determined given how much was missing from the back I think there was a box missing when I bought it of parts rather than those having been sold off but there we are and so I think I don't have um, the right nut to hold that in place now the problem isn't the cost because they're about 20p each which is next to nothing but I don't know what size so I can't buy it locally which means I need to get it from you know the specialist and so that's delivery times so I'm just having to think about how to do this now and I think what I might do is I might put a couple more clecos in here to connect to the strengthen a piece or even just drill a couple of holes because if I then line up the holes um, then that should allow me to get it back into exactly the right place so I'm going to base it on doing clecos but I know I'll have the holes yeah that's what I'm going to do okay that's worked fine so these are holding in place now and I've checked underneath so I've done a scribe along here I'm going to cut out the back edge um, and actually I think I might scribe along here and cut this one as well um, because I'm not going to I think I'm going to struggle to get in oh we'll see what I feel like I'm going to struggle getting that close with a with a my um, cutting wheel but we'll see I'm certainly going to do the back and then see so far this is going quite well touch wood um, so I haven't welded underneath yet but I will do at some point but what I want to do now is try to fit the bracket back on and in order to do that 
I need to take it off and clean it up. So we're going to do that next. Pretty, pretty pleased with this. Um, I got the back here, back in underneath. It's um, my plug welds worked first time, and I've ground them right down. So um, that's looking okay. Um, I have to clean up the other side now um, and see if there's anything I want to do on the transmission tunnel on the other side. Um, just in here, this will get seam sealer, but I need to just clamp them together on the flange and cut it down and put a plug weld in there, but I can't do that at the moment, so that'll have to be later. And um, I also need to just go underneath and do a set of welds along there just to make sure it's all welded on both sides um, so I don't know if it's the thicker metal that made it easier or the fact that um, you know I've cleaned up my welder so much um, which I think I think it might be a mixture of the two but um, that's good so we're moving on been away this weekend and I haven't got much done I've just got back and cleaned this off along here. We've got a couple of pinholes here, well a couple of holes, a bit more than pinholes here. I need to fix that back in place. And I've got to decide if I want to try to deal with this. Um, prior to cleaning it, in fact prior to the video in I didn't think there was anything there, but now that I'm up close I can see that maybe um, I do need to do something, but I think what I might do here, rather than anything big, is just put some weld in there. Um, I haven't quite decided. So I'll start over here, I'll get some brass behind this and um, fill those up. I'll plug weld those and I'll decide what I'm going to do here. So this is now securely in place, um, so that's uh, done, we filled in these spots here, and we filled in these spots here, oh yeah, did I miss them? So I'm going to call the transmission tunnel done, so I've got three weeks through my five week plan. No, I've got, it's taken me five weeks to get through three weeks. Um, I was thinking that I'd do the door next, the driver's door there, so the bottom bit of it needs replacing. I'm going to take a different approach to the passenger one that I did. Um, but I also realised that I didn't have that in my um, schedule of things to do. So um, I'm five weeks behind and I found another thing to do. Um, I could cover it off in my odds and sods, um, or not. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the door next, um, but I might leave that because I kind of fancy taking out um, the front suspension and getting into the engine bay. Um, I've got this bit here that needs to be completed and I've got both of the these bits on the apron that need doing and you can see in the corner here where's my finger there that bit needs doing as well so there's quite a bit to do around here um, and so I might come over and take the trends the suspension and all of that gubbings out I'm just not sure where I'm going to put it if I do and how I'm going to store stuff so I haven't decided what I'm doing tomorrow, um, you'll have to tune in to find out.